Now for this first part then we're given what f of x is and we're asked to show that f of x equals this particular result. x by the way can't equal plus or minus 3 or minus a half that's because you'd end up dividing by 0 if x equaled any of these values and you can't divide by 0 because it gives you an undefined result. right? So how are we going to show that f of x simplifies to this? Well what we've got here is two fractions which we're subtracting so we need to put them over a lowest common multiple. Now let's just start by copying down what f of x is and because we've got to put them over lowest common multiple it would suggest that we need to factorize any of the denominators. Well this denominator for the first fraction is factorized so we just copy that one down that's 2x plus 1 x minus 3. But for this other one, x squared minus 9 we should recognize as the difference of two squares. So it can be split up into two factors, x plus 3 and x minus 3. So that gives us the factors now in the denominators. But they're not the same. You can see that we've got an x minus 3 which is common so that's okay we're going to have to have that in okay as the lowest one of the, one of the multiples I should say but we've got to put more in as well so let's start by thinking about what our fractions would have to be turned into if we take the first fraction 4x minus 5 all over 2x plus 1 x minus 3 so that we create the same denominator we're going to need to include an x plus 3. So if I was to multiply top and bottom by x plus 3 this is if we're multiplying this fraction by 1 so it won't change the value of it just the appearance of it. Then we've got the minus here we'll take the next fraction 2x over x plus 3, x minus 3, but for this to share the same denominator as this, 2x plus 1, x minus 3, x plus 3, you can see that we're missing the 2x plus 1. So I can multiply top and bottom here by 2x plus 1, so it's like multiplying by 1 again, so it's not going to alter the value but just the appearance of the fraction. So you can see that the lowest common multiple for this is going to be simply 2x plus 1, x minus 3 and x plus 3. So there's our common denominator. So on the top here we would just have 4x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 3 alright minus and then 2x multiplied by the 2x plus 1. Now with practice I must admit I wouldn't have done this line as such I would have gone from here straight down to here but I leave it up to you it's just obviously just to show you how we go basically from this stage right the way down to this stage. Now all that's left to be done is just simply to expand the top out, don't expand the bottom out, all right? So we just leave the bottom still as it is 2x plus 1, x minus 3, and x plus 3. But you've got to expand out the top. Well, if you expand out the top and simplify, you're going to get 4x squared. So I put that down 4x squared, and then you get um, 12x minus 5x and then minus 5 times 3 is minus 15 and on this stretch here you get minus 4x squared and then minus 2x times the plus 1 is minus 2x. So we'll just come down here should be able to fit it in therefore f of x equals so if you clean up the top here those two 4x squareds cancel out and 12x minus 5x minus another 2x leaves you with 5x okay so let's just put 5x there 
and then you're left with minus 15 as well. So 5x minus 15 on the top all over the factors 2x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 3 x plus 3. So we can factorize the top now pull out 5 as a common factor 5 bracket x minus 3 and then that's all divided then again by 2x plus 1 x minus 3 and x plus 3 and you can see that's the reason why we don't expand the bottom okay because what happens now is we can see that we can cancel out the common factor of x minus 3 with that one in there so what we have now is the simplified version and it is basically 5 all over 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 3 and that's what we had to show all right.